Our next presenter is Betty Williams, a co-recipient with Mairead Corrigan of the Nobel Peace Prize in 1976 for her work as a co-founder of Community of Peace People, an organization dedicated to promoting peaceful resolutions in the Troubles in Northern Ireland. She heads the Global Children's Foundation and is the president of the World Center of Compassion for Children International. In 2006, Ms. Williams was one of the founders of the Nobel Women's Initiative along with five sister Nobel Peace Laureates representing North America, South America, Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. Um, to bring together their experiences in a unified effort for peace with justice and equality. Please welcome Ms. Betty Williams. Good evening, everybody. First, before I begin to say anything, I'd like you all to stand up, please. Now give each other a hug. Thank you. I always start all of anything I've got to say, I always start with that. And I always say, arms are for hugging, not for killing. I'm so glad to be here for several reasons. First of all, the new leader of this bank is a pretty wonderful fellow, and I'm sure the World Bank will go a long way with your leadership, Dr. Kim. <laughs> but I'm very sad, you see. My mother is very, very ill. Her name is Earth and she's very, very sick. And we constantly talk about global warming. It's become this sort of in, th in thing to say, like paradigms and paradigms and in global warming. I would rather say that what we are doing to Mother Earth is injustice. It's more than global warming. It's absolute injustice what we're doing to this Earth. And it is all of our responsibility, every single one of our responsibility, to take seriously that we will only get from Mother Earth the love that we give to her. I remember a child once when I was doing a peace jam. I remember this little boy coming up to me, he said, Mrs. Williams, do you clean your teeth every day? I said, of course I do. I clean my teeth every day, twice a day. He said, how much water do you use while you're cleaning your teeth? You know how we turn the tap on and we run the toothbrush under the tap and we just leave that water running? Do you know how many gallons of water a day that we could save if we just rinsed our toothbrush and turned that water off? Hundreds of thousands of gallons of water per day. That was taught to me by a child. The young people of our world are going to change this world. We have left them a terrible legacy of mismanagement, misunderstanding, and absolute cruelty on Mother Earth. I am here tonight to tell you that if we truly love Mother Earth, we will continually fight the injustice that we ter perpetrate upon her. Thank you for asking me to come. It's an honor to be among you all. Thank you.